不然你跟吃的多会胖嘞、欸。<笑>就 another episode of before our time. Mandan did mince, I did snacks. Do you know what comes after mince or not? Dessert. Wrong, because it's always time for dessert, anyways. <laughs> But yes, it's gonna be all about the desserts today. And the first place is at Tempadis Round Market at House of Desserts. Sounds very apt, right? House of Desserts. Shall we go to my house of desserts? <笑>我也不好嘛。哥哥呢？跟我们讲，嗯，怎样称呼你呢？我们做小贩的，很多人是以行业来来起名的，所以大多数叫我甜品叔叔这样而已。甜品叔叔。我是呃，一九三九年出生的，今年八十三岁。哇，这样你们开了多久呢？我开了三十三年。三十三年、嗯，都是在 d a m p e n i s 这里啊。啊，对，在前面的那个咖啡店。哦。以前是在前面咖啡店，现在这里。现在来这里。这样你的 House of Desserts 现在是几个人在帮你呢？嗯哦、那个是我弟弟跟弟夫啊、哦，我是大伯来的。哦、啊，这样。你的店最出名的甜品是哪一个呢？谈不上什么出名了，就是说比较能够可口的啊，就是捣蒜啊、莲子灯啊，还有西瓜冻。刚才你说捣蒜，还有另外一个是什么来的啊？莲子灯。莲子根根，莲子根市面很少人做，因为这个它的工序很忙、哦、啊，它必须要一粒一粒的卷，它的工太多了，基本上没有什么人要做。拿出来之后还要熬，对吗？要蒸，蒸了还要煮。我一次听说你的莲子根每次卖很快。啊，对，这边的人客为了要吃莲子根，他们早晨五点多就来买了，通常到八点多就卖完了啊。八点多，八点多我还在睡觉哎、欸。<笑>吃了好吃，有什么好处呢？可以说是老年人最喜欢的了。呃，吃了对人体这个有好处，就是健胃啦。你有没有看到年轻人买这个莲子？买啊，他吃了一次他就被粘住了。够啊，啊<笑>最主要还是老年人的。你说。那个莲子根很难做，然后又这么贵，为什么你还是会做呢？有一个时期，我们停了一年呐、啊，可是那个人客还一直来讲啊，你你们要做要做，结果做下去就不能停了。现在你停下去，它爬起来跳，哇，哪里可以？还有一些老年人，他怎么讲？你不能不做这个嘞，哇，他们的要求是很殷切的。但是起初我是最不喜欢吃甜的一个人，我走进来以后，慢慢的就感觉到，哎。甜品是好吃的，甜品是怎么样一个特殊的？就是你每天吃饱饭以后啊，然后再吃一碗甜的，要很享受啊。就是，安哥，你知道这个，我有一次同意。OK， 甜品是出现在我们尝这个莲子根。OK， 我可以跟你讲，我没有吃过。我记得的莲子根是不是黏黏的？那个清新的。啊，清新的。但是我先跟你讲，这个是很甜的。哈，不用紧，我。很甜的，很甜。<笑>看起来好像捣蒜这样，对吗？啊，对，它的汤是一样的。哦，汤是一样的。它主要是进口滑滑，而且软软。啊、嗯，它它的特点是这样。嗯，我觉得不会太甜呢，可是那个莲子根很很软。啊，软软。莲很。而且它香味很好。对对，很香味，很特别。哇，我以前最喜欢的甜品是刀酸，可是可能因为我没有吃到这个，<笑>这个比较好吃哎，比刀酸好吃，因为那个那个莲子根是一粒一粒大大个的，所以有那个口感啊，对，嗯，刀酸你是这样哎，还有我喜欢你的那个莲子根很大，那个福福建的，那个 liquid is like sweet and it's very honey。And it's sticky, and then when you pair it with the lotus seed, right, it's very nutty, and there is that that fragrance. I think if I come to House of Dessert next time, this will be my order. But Uncle, you say you want to eat at eight o'clock before you come, right? This eight o'clock before you come. Eight o'clock before you come. 要不然都卖光了，没有。卖光了，<笑>一天我们可以做五百万
，五百万这个。礼拜天跟拜六啊，做一千万。什么？一千万？哦<笑>，这样不会累吗？你你卖平价呢，所以他吸引很多人呢。现在我我们定的价钱是一块七啊，嗯，现在还没有呃还没有起价之前，我们才卖块半的，嗯，块半我们那个不没有收费的，所以人家说哦价钱这样，呃水准又好，晚上十二点就来。什么？我十二点啊已经开工了，煮到天亮六点才卖煮完的。哇，这样我要问你，你的秘密是什么啊？因为我做工九点到六点已经。很累了嘞、嗯，秘密是什么啊？是不是甜品？我们现在人比较轻啊、嗯，吃苦也挨饿过的吗、嗯？啊，你们不你们不知道挨饿什么味道？哎、<笑>最后一个问题是，啊、你还有留几碗啊？<笑>因为我们需要让年轻人试试看、啊，问他们他们觉得这个莲子羹好吃还是不好吃？啊，一定好吃啊！不一定不一定，那个狗不吃鱼头，你知道吗？狗不吃鱼头，为什么？啊，你要知道了以后说不是一样东西，每个人可以吃的。Oh, OK， 如果那个两个年轻人不喜欢这个，嗯、我们就叫他狗还有牛。We found two youngsters at the Blitz Round Market, and、uh, maybe you introduce yourself to the camera here. Hi, I'm Serene. Hi, I'm Rafael. Okay, have you heard of this、uh, shop called House of Dessert? Yes. Yes. Oh, have you ordered from them before? Yes. What do you all order? Let me guess. We say together. One, two, three. Watermelon. Watermelon. I knew it. <laughs> so I was telling the uncle that I also knew about them because of his watermelon dessert. But actually, he has another dish、um, in his store which is very popular, but amongst like the older folks, and it's lotus seed. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. Have you all seen this before? No. No. But just now you were guessing tau suan, right? It looks like tau suan. Look, yeah. Huh? It's pretty close to a tau suan actually, but I'll let you all taste it yourself. Not bad. Wow, it's sweet.、Eh? It tastes a bit like the the sweet potato. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like a very sweet tau suan. What do you think about this dessert? Is it something that is up your alley? Yes. I think so. Wow. Really, but you are young, eh? I feel like youngsters don't like like hot dessert. I think we eat quite a lot of like older time food. Oh, okay, okay. You're、yeah, not supposed to eat lah, so I guess yeah, I guess、mm. quite common in our in our life. Yeah. yeah. Can you guess how much is one bowl? Two twenty. I'll say two dollars. It's actually four twenty, eh? Huh? <laughs> a bit pricey ah for the for the hot dessert section. Normally hot dessert is a bit. Cheaper. Yeah, so I asked uncle like, how come it's so expensive? And he said it's because it's a long cooking process and the ingredients are very expensive. Yeah. Yeah, but the ingredients are very generous. Right. Yeah, it's, it's a lot. So if you were to rate this dessert upon ten, how much would you rate it? Seven. Because of the price, I think for me maybe six. Hmm, six to seven. Oh no. But if it's two, if it's two dollars plus, I think maybe eight. Would you eat this again? <laughs> if I'm feeling bougie, yes. <laughs> Prove that she's young. <laughs> When she get her bonus, then we will share one bowl. But apparently, the people here loves it so much that the uncle says it sells out by 8 a.m. Oh, the one that we never see before. Oh. Oh, you just focus on watermelon bowl. Just watermelon bowl. I think it's only on Wednesdays. Yes, correct, correct. Wednesdays only.、Yeah. And this one available every day, but until 8 a.m. Are you at 8 a.m.? Oh, yes, yes, yes. <laughs>、Okay, we're at location number two, and it's somewhere I don't really want to introduce because I only want to see it on my Instagram feed and not anybody else. I feel like older people might know, and youngsters don't really know about it yet unless they read ebook.sg. And it's Uncle Lee's Confectionery. Honestly, the vibes here, right? It reminds me of JB. Where you can buy those specialty cakes or curry puff that that lean, you know, you know that lean. If you go JB, I Y K Y K. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Okay, another Chinese interview. <laughs> Over here, I have Uncle Lee of Uncle Lee's Confectionery. Uncle Lee, can you come and give us a introduction? Ah, my name is Lee. My name is Wu Song. 今年七十岁。你开了 Uncle Lee Confection， 你开了多久呢？这个二零二一年十二月 start 到现在。可是以前你们是从 Commonwealth 的对吗？啊，对对对。那边开了多久呢？那边我是八十六年做到现
三十多年。所以刚才你你在做那个蛋糕的时候，你是没有用食谱对吗？全部在全部在头脑里面。我的天啊！所以你以前到现在都是做蛋糕的啦。以前在昆明会做蛋糕面包啦，嗯，现在我来这边是，我那边不是做蛋糕比较多。你的蛋糕是从哪里学的呢？还是你自己以前创造过来？我太太的哥哥也是做蛋糕店啊，哦，啊，他姐姐就开那个昆明会那个咯，嗯嗯，啊，就下去做了，慢慢做，一一一边做一边学，师傅教就做一边学咯。就我很久就没有做，做差不多有要到三十年了，我没有做过。哦，所以你们。这几年才才啊，对对对对对，发生这个疫情啊，你孩子又外面工作的裁员啊、嗯，啊，所以他就要做了，我就教他了。我要诚实一点，<笑>我是那种人哦。看起来好吃我才买，好像要有花花，还是我拍照很美我才买。可是有一天，我的同事、啊、他去你的店啊，他是给我们吃那个 b e a n cake 啊，哇，那个我跟你讲超好吃的，<笑>看起来很很很普通啦，普通。可是吃的时候，它的口感是那个种古早味的味道，对对，很、啊、很香哎。对，你们的店有很多这种古早味的。嗯蛋糕、啊、有没有看到客户是年轻人呢？是有年轻人，也是有。有没有吃过？好像现在，呃，很出名的那种 cake 啊，要很美的，有很多 cream 啊那种。外面都是用 face cream， 不然 face cream 吃的多会胖嘞，会胖嘞，会胖嘞。真的 face cream 比 butter cream。有的人以为是 butter cream 会胖，不是 face cream 比较胖啊，它是自由的。你这种 butter cream 嘛、啊，你放花生，你成普通，看着很普通啦。那你吃啊，越吃越喜欢。对，那个味道不是那个 cream， 那个味道是那个材料。啊、那种啊所以你们的是用 butter， 不是 butter。对，你你不相信，你用一些手指啊，你再先看很香、嗯，没有那种超油靠的味道。这样这里的地点会不会比较好？是好的啊，我说，因为我们说 online 啊，在这个时期啊，是给人家方便来拿蛋糕，考虑到顾客啊，有时买个蛋糕，哇，你吃到如龙，吃到江一伟，真的拿个蛋糕十多块跑到那边，也是租金便宜啦，所以要考虑到顾客嘛。像我们东西是起价，我东我的蛋糕是没有起价。你看现在鸡蛋，你看一直起的，我那后面那种油啊，以前我在工作做的时候一定是十七块嘞，到现在啊，三十多年现在只要一定五十块。啊！他说你不要起、啊，我没有起，为什么？没有办法啦，因为我考虑到我的顾客，看明年这样啦，如果这期再起，我们就要调调一下啦，还、啊、要调一下啦。啊，顾客还是会买的，是啦，会买啦，所以我要考虑我的顾客，我是没有随便起价的啦，不要紧，我赚少一点，不要紧。你来店的时候是几点？连放工是几点呢？早上七点多来到这边。我们是做，那没有做门市啊，就是人家顾客拿完，我们就五点多就收了。OK，、啊、这样如果你们要来 Angelis Confectionery， 最好就是在晚上订订。Oh, nice. <笑> <Think> .<笑>如果你这样进来，进来看啊，如果不是观众，如果是有多一点，一两个啊，你要搞，我搞辣啦，看你的辣就买得到啦，啊，够辣啊。现在没有辣，啊，就是 online order。Angelis has Made this peanut cake from scratch for us, so this is fresh out the oven, and I'm gonna take my first bite. But before that, you can see the jiggly there. And right, you see the layers are so even, and then the cream is legit just a thin layer, and then it's packed with super fragrant peanuts on top. The cake is vanilla, right? Vanilla, vanilla. I use my hand. Soft, very nice. Wow, very, very soft. Look, have you seen? Okay, I'm gonna try it. 那个 cream 不会很甜，不很甜啊。那个 cream 也是一点甜而已。但那个 peanut 是那个最好吃的部分，很香。我每次喜欢吃闽江龟那种，可是那个花生不可以。不香，有的不香。这个啊，真的。嗯，对，我知道。哇，真的。所以我们要做东西给人家吃，要新鲜。那个 cream 是软软的哈，但那个 peanut 是 crunchy crunchy 的，好像你讲的是对，不会很腻。不会腻啦。啊，因为吃一片了，还要想吃第二片。还是可以吃的、啊，还是可以吃。所以以以前你卖的这个是 Swiss roll 的 ，Swiss roll 的 pattern， 的 pattern 哈。我觉得 Swiss roll 没有这么样，没有那么 soft 啦。Swiss roll 它比较压紧嘛，这个没有压紧，它比较松。哇，我觉得这个是最好的 version。啊、<笑>我跟那个 audience 讲一个秘密，每次我吃吃我说，如果我不喜欢，我就会说。嗯，我妈妈会喜欢啦。可是这个哦，我我会讲，我妈妈会喜欢，可是我也是会喜欢。<笑>所以我觉得这种蛋糕你可以买回家，一家人一起吃，小孩还有大人，对。
都可以一起分享。奶油也是比较清淡，清淡比较滑，滑了对，嗯，不像 fresh cream 这样的，对，嗯嗯嗯，花生真的是一百分哎，哇，哇，真的。这样一个蛋糕你是卖多少呢？这样一个二十块。嗯块嗯，可以嘞，二十块。我的生日帮我买这个。哎呦，去<笑>哎去菜馆外面的，这样一个三十多。哇，那你们这样又便宜又好吃。有名的。有名的三十多。嗯，三十多。不要去哪里啊？哦、<笑>没有没有，我没有讲。<笑>这两个美女他们要要 try 全部，你们有没有卖？呃，一片一片的，还是是整个蛋糕，整个蛋糕，哦、一片一片的。没有，我跟你们讲，你要你买整个 ，OK， 是一片，你会要第二片，好吗？现在我们会把你的蛋糕给两个年轻人试试看，因为我觉得他们肯定没有吃过这样好吃的，让他们享受。拜拜。So I found people who look like they are around my age. <laughs> Do you want to introduce yourself to the camera? Hi, I'm Shalin. And I'm Victoria. And how old are you? Seventeen, eighteen. Do you like to eat desserts? Yeah. What kind of desserts do you all usually go for? Tiramisu. Tiramisu. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yeah. I prefer like, sweet desserts. Do you go for the aesthetics? Yes. Yes. <laughs> what, what kind of aesthetics? Like cafe. Oh. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, last time I used to go for IG worthy desserts. Right? Oh yeah. But right recently I found this really nice cake shop, and um yeah it's still not IG worthy. If I show you, you'll agree. I show you the cake. You tell me whether you think it's IG worthy or something that you would buy yourself. One, two, three. It looks so pretty. <laughs> oh really? It looks pretty. Okay, it's not IG it's not, worthy, yeah. but it's pretty. Is it like a peanut cake? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So it's your first time seeing? Yeah. Okay, give it a try. Mm. What do you think about it? It's very nutty and it's like it's very light. Do you like it? Yeah. Is it surprisingly good? Mm-hmm. I mean, it looks good, but like, it tastes better. Right? Yeah, yeah, I yeah, know, yeah. Right? It's, it's like moist. It's moist. Not too sweet also. A bit messy, so better to eat at home. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, not perfect for first date. <laughs> <laughs> but it's nice. Mm. I will buy it. I'll buy it for like my family. Mmm. Mm. Cause it's something like, young and old would mm. like, right? Yeah. So it's something more traditional. Are y'all open to like, buying traditional stuff? Yeah. Like because I'm very close to my grandparents, mm. so I'm like very open about traditional food and stuff. Yeah. One box mm -hmm. has eight slices. Can you guess how much would it cost? Fifteen to twenty. Mm. Yeah, around there. Are you sure? When you go cafe to eat one slice, it, one slice is really like oh, yeah, eight dollars, okay. eh? Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> I think the thirty range. Okay, I'm kidding. Actually, you're going it right. Almost right the first time. It's twenty dollars a oh box. Huh? Oh, twenty okay. dollars? Oh, Wait, is it a good thing or bad thing? It's so cheap. Yeah, yeah. It's like very affordable. It's worth it. Like compared to cafe price. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Not thinking about it. Okay, how would you rate it a point 10? 8.5. Yeah, 8. 8.5. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. 8. Okay, we're at our final location and we're at Golden Mount Food Centre. Kudos to producer Gladys for finding this rare dessert because I really have not seen or tried it before. So let's go check it out! Hello, everyone. My name is Yenny. I'm the Tongsan Dessert owner. So I'm in Golden Mount. So you sell food for how long? For three years. Do I've never seen it, I've never seen it. In Singapore, I've never seen it. I've never seen it. Where did you learn it from? I've never seen it from Malaysia. I've always been 
，recipe 是什么？秘方？是没有秘方啦，就是小时候吃的味道，妈妈的味道。你的客户有没有看到年轻人买，还是大多数都是？老实讲啊，这种甜品年轻人很少会吃。都是比较有年龄的人吃，因为我卖的是比较传统嘛，嗯、就好像陈皮、红豆沙，你们年轻人是不大会吃的。好、啊、像绿豆啊，你们只会吃绿豆，我都是有掺番薯的。大麦也是，你们吃的就是纯粹的大麦，不过我的大麦是有掺一些水的。什么是一？掺、啊。嗯，对，还有那个，你知道什么来着没？所以这个在新加坡，你觉得为什么没有这么多人会卖呢？可能他们没有吃过这种味道吧。啊，嗯，因为我也是，是新加坡，我也是没有看到过有人卖这种的。里面是有什么呢？是讲做的呢？是这个甜品？呃，我有三椰，可可那没有，哦，可可没有。啊，水罐跟那个德利姑酱，主要是三样。哦，嗯，德利姑不是巴黎哈，巴黎煮出来不会黏黏的，大麦煮出来黏黏的，没有它那种大这些的，它就是本身就是有粘性的德利姑。所以这个一碗是多少？两块二，然后你也是有冷的，对吗？有有卖冷的，对，因为有时他他真的喜欢吃冷的，只是放冰橱而已啦，没有放冰的。因为我的甜品全部它的甜度啊都是刚刚好的，不会很甜,、哦、不会太甜啊。所以你说你有孩子对吗？有啊。他们会不会吃这种甜品？<笑>他们啊，哈，他们都会吃巴黎而已，其他的不大会吃。OK， 我试试看啊。自己来。如果我闭着眼睛哈，我会想是那个胡老米当，黑糯米。对对对对,对，因为也是一样，有一点黏黏的，然后有那个香味。就、就是他们讲这个是白麦，那个是黑麦。哦、oh, <笑> ，OK， the broth is like sticky, sticky, milky, milky, but it has a hint of coconut. It's so super aromatic. But I think my favorite part of this dessert is the texture, because the wheat is like a bit chewy, chewy. A bit like pearls, lah, and then the corn is crunchy, crunchy. So it's like a whole mix of textures that I love, and I think it's quite interesting dessert. I will order it cold, lah. I will order it cold. Um, this one is fresh, lah. I make it myself. Oh, myself. I don't buy that kind of packaging. Wow, because packaging is not good. Yeah, it's not crunchy. Ah, not. Yeah, this is very special. That coconut flavor is very special. Like you come every day to work, what time do you get up? Five o'clock. Five o'clock, you get up. 四五点多，我、啊、是，所以我哥是这样的，要早吗？会不会很多功夫这个 ？OK 咯，因为我的东西全，我的甜品全部有掺那种不一样的东西嘛，所以需要时间。嗯，需要熬也是这样。啊，这些要需要需要熬的。我们等一下要找两个年轻人试试看这个甜品，你觉得我们应该拿烧的还是冷的？因为我的主要的是卖烧的嘛，就给他们是烧的咯。嗯、你啊，我先去拿。Okay, 好好，我们走。嗯Okay, hello. Hi. <laughs> yeah, very nice because we we met our eyes met in the middle of the traffic light, right? Then we asked them to come back, come back, cross back, cross back, and they really did. So thank you. <laughs> you want to introduce yourself to the camera? Hi, I'm Karen. Hello, I'm Tiffany. You all eat desserts a lot? Not really. What? Huh? Well, you're you're like more savory people, is it? Uh, I just drink bubble tea more often. Ah, so. bubble tea considered lah. What about you? Oh uh, no, I just don't like it. You don't like dessert? Yes. Oh no. <laughs> because this series is called Before Our Times, right? So the dessert that I'm letting you all try is a bit more on the traditional side. Do you have any idea what a traditional dessert might be? Tang yuan. Tang yuan. A green bean soup. You are right, you are right. It's around that vibe. Okay, have you all seen this dessert before? I think so. It's barley, right? I also thought is it's barley, it? but it's not. It's I a kind know. of wheat. This like corn soup. Corn soup, right? <laughs> corn soup. Like rice, yogurt, or something. Is it a flavor you're like? I'm okay with corn soup. I think it's okay. Uh. Okay lah, uh. but not the best. When you go for like traditional dessert, if you ever go for it, what is your favorite order? Hei nuo mi. Hei nuo mi. Yeah. What about you? I still like tang yuan. Like at first when I first tried just now, right, I felt that it reminded me a bit of hei nuo mi. This this one itself. No, it doesn't. <laughs> what does it taste more like to you? I don't know. It tastes like corn soup. <laughs> what do you think about the texture? Is it something different or is it? I think it's like soup. Like soup, right? Yeah. Is it cold version? Do you think you'll like it more? I don't think so. I think I think warm. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You look like the warmer version. Yes. If I ask you to rate it from ten, how much would you rate it? Seven. 
Seven for you? Seven point five. Seven point five. Yeah. Okay lah, it's still a pass lah. Can lah. Will you repurchase or not? Uh, no. <laughs> Yeah, no. Why, why wouldn't you already purchase? Maybe I will always like try to get cold desserts mm. instead of those. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Actually, same eh. I also, I rather cold. Yeah, so I know what you mean. So, what do you think about today's shoot? Ooh, I think that it was pretty interesting. Why? Because I got to taste many things that I never tasted before. Oh, like what? Um, Things that I never tried before would be the lian zi gen and the sweet corn teringu. But my favourite has definitely got to be Uncle Lee's peanut cake. Oh my gosh, that was a dessert dream. Why? Because... <laughs> I think someone we interviewed actually had the perfect words for the shoot today. Um, she said, The dessert tastes better than it looks. Which is correct for all three desserts that I've tried today. Um, they look very humble, but it tastes pretty dang amazing. For example, the Uncle Lee's peanut cake. Wow. I tell you, it's, it's a cake that I can keep eating and not get sick of because the peanut is so aromatic. It's like it's full on flavour. The flavour is 11 out of 10, okay? And then the cake, right, is as soft as clouds. Like, not kidding. It's heavenly, eh. I hope when I die, I can see it in heaven. <laughs> for the other two desserts, I think it's a bit hard for me to buy even though I'm finally exposed to it because I feel like hot desserts don't sit well with me. What do you think, ah? Is it like a youngster thing? Huh? Like Singapore already so hot, why do I want something hot? But maybe when I'm older, I, I would appreciate. So I hope that when I'm older, these two desserts are still around because they are also quite good. I think I'm pretty amazed with House of Desserts because the price point is still very low. Okay, except the Lian Zi Gen la, because that is 420. It's not because the uncle wants to make a profit out of it, it's because the ingredients are that expensive. I feel like it really is like hawker food law. Like it's humble, it's good, and it's affordably priced. Another nice thing is that uh, you can tell that the uncle aunties make the food they make because they are passionate about it. They like the food themselves and they enjoy seeing people enjoy the food. So this is what makes food taste even better. Yeah. It's the vibe, you know. Kind of vibe! <laughs> Thank you for watching this episode of ebook vlogs. We personally love this series. I hope you guys love it too. If you want to catch more, you can watch over here. And don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and tell us that we did a good job. And tell the uncle auntie that you're gonna visit them. I'm sure they'll be happy. Bye!